Hey guys, welcome to the now. Thanks for tuning in. I am still getting used to my Invisalign, so if I'm making funny faces or sound different, it's because of the casing on my mouth, or more specifically, in my mouth and on my teeth. So today I want to share with you um, some information, valid fact, true fact, um, that are stated in the book, You Are a Badass, written by Jen Sincero. This book I picked up, I'd say, about two years ago, uh, almost to the day, and this book kind of started me, or helped me um, kind of develop, not develop, like, this book was the propulsion that led me uh, kind of like a steroid into this field of wellness and inspiration and affirmations and so on and so forth. Um, a super book to pick up. I recommended it to the majority of my friends. I'm recommending it to you now. It's written in an extremely um, simple, colloquial, like, um, hmm. What's the terminology I'm looking for? Basically, it's written in Lehman's terms, and so I'm going to read to you an excerpt from uh, the chapter, The Almighty Decision. Um, and so, this specific excerpt starts with a quote that says, Nobody gets to the top of the mountain without falling on a space over and over again. I can definitely uh, agree to that statement. <laughs> In the sense that, as I've mentioned in other posts, suffering and failure and all of these negative um, events, as you might like to think of them, are actually the stepping stone for you to achieve greatness or get to a new stage. So basically, Jen Sincero states in this chapter that all the greats that we know of have made mistakes and have failed. And so she says, back when Henry Ford insisted to a room of annoyed engineers that his V8 engine could be built the way he envisioned it, it was after he'd already gone bankrupt in his first attempt at creating an automobile empire. So at that time, he already, he already, had plenty of proof that he was capable of failing on a massive scale. But his faith in himself and his vision was so strong that he stuck with it, in spite of all the evidence around him that pointed to Big Fat Loser and became one of the most successful entrepreneurs of all time. We all know Ford cars, right? So, I mean, obviously, maybe there's someone on this planet that doesn't know what Ford, the brand of vehicles, is. But if you've got access to internet, where you're obviously viewing this specific blog post, then you can Google it. So not only was Henry Ford, the founder of Ford vehicles, um, a failure because he tried and tried again and went bankrupt a few times before his empire kind of took its propulsion <laughs> and its rise, its ascent to greatness. Um, there are other people, as stated on this specific page, page 194, if you want to pick up the book in a bookstore and just read this specific page to see it for yourself. Um, so here are other examples of temporary failure and how all the cool kids have done it. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, the basketball player, just in case you were wondering, was cut from his high school basketball team for lack of skill. Steven Spielberg, a high school dropout, was rejected from film school three times. Thomas Edison, who was dubbed too stupid to learn anything by a teacher, tried more than 9,000 experiments before successfully creating the light bulb. Excuse me if I don't pronounce this properly, not only because of what's in my mouth right now, but because I'm dyslexic. <laughs> but Sochiro Honda, the founder of Honda Motor Company, 
was turned down by Toyota for an engineering position. So he started his own damn company. It's written whole damn, his own, not whole, but own damn company right there. Beethoven's music teacher told him he was talentless and more specifically was hopeless at composing. Beethoven turned a deaf ear. And so she says, I know it's bad, I'm sorry, but obviously the pun was intended. Ha 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 ha. Um, Fred Smith wrote a paper while at Yale about his big idea for an overnight delivery service. He got a C. Just in case you didn't know, because I didn't know either, but it's stated here. He went on to create FedEx anyways. Okay? So the only failure, the real, real failure, is quitting. Everything else, it's just gathering information. It's just practice. So, if you want something really bad, and you decide that you're going to get it, you will. It's that simple. So maybe close your eyes and breathe for a few rounds, or at least get rid of the white noise, and just constantly repeat in your mind's eye, what's my deepest desire? Forget about long term or whatever, just focus on the now. Breathe and figure out what's your deepest desire right now? What will bring you your happiness right now? And if you do that over and over again, as stated in my book, or the book, Sacred Powers by David G., you're going to get a lot closer to what your heart's calling for, what you're resonating for. By all means, don't give up. If you really want it, don't give up. You're worth it. I'll give you one final example, uh, and you can find that reference online if you'd like. There is a, a song right now that's really popular. It's called Truth Hurts, and it is by, hold on a moment. Dun, 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 dun. I have to pull out my music app to figure out who it's from. Um, so it's by Lizzo, L-I-Z-Z-O. And so if you had not heard the song yet, it's really, really catchy. I've been listening to it almost every day. It was my theme song for a few days running. Um, but basically she wrote this song, give or take two years ago. And she started trying to get it picked up by different labels and no one was interested. And when she wrote it and produced it or whatever, sang it, recorded it, she was convinced that it was going to be a hit. And then two years or a year and a half in of pushing and no one being interested in the song, she started losing hope um, and she really wanted to give up. And I believe with respect to the information that I gathered, uh, that her producer told her to stick to her guns and keep trying because it was definitely going to break the ice and so on and so forth and propel her to greatness. And lo and behold, now she is on the top of the charts. So to close off this post about how failure in and of itself is not failure unless you quit. When you plant a seed... Some seeds, depending on what they are, will sprout right away. Like tulips in the springtime are the first to pop out. Whereas there are other flowers that will take the whole summer to kind of bud and they start budding at the end of the summer. There are some plants in the desert that flower once every hundred years. In the end, it's not a question of time. It's more a question of will and focus. So... Whatever you are going through, don't give up. Even if you feel like everything is holding you back, just keep cultivating those positive thoughts. And when in despair, come onto this station for inspiration or go anywhere else where you do feel inspired, where your heart feels a little lighter. And you can kind of resource yourself and refocus and restructure, reformat, and then get back into the swing of things. Because you're worth it. It's your life. It's your now. And you deserve to live it fully. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to live my now fully. I've got two mascots that have been waiting impatiently for my return today. I've been out all day. And I will be heading out a little later. 
So my focus now, my deepest desire is to spend time with my cuddly furry creatures. So you guys have a fantastic now. If you want to find me tomorrow, I'll be around pretty much all day. I'm teaching at Atlas Gym. Tomorrow will be the 31st of August, 2019. Atlas Gym at 10, 15 a.m., 60-minute stretch yoga practice. If you've never been, please do come on by. It's on Bordelot in St. Dorothy, a really, really quaint gym with amazing instructors, amazing vibes. Uh, and if you can't make it there, then I will also be guiding a core flow at 3 p.m. at Asha Yoga Laval in Quartier Laval off of Corbusier, uh, Corbusier exit from Highway 15. And also at 5 p.m. a 75 minute flow. So I hope to catch you guys there. If not, sometimes here on this channel. Enjoy your long weekend. Have a fantastic now. And as usual, feel free to send me either in personal message or in comments below your feedback, some examples of how you failed at something, but then eventually by sticking to your guns, you then became, I don't know, better at it or whatever. Feel free to share because sharing helps you connect. Sharing also helps you reinforce that inner potential. So thanks again. Always grateful. Have a wonderful, majestic now. Peace out. I'll catch you real soon.